hello guys welcome to the channel kaboom yes guys welcome to my base review series this is where we find some of the best bases out there test them out in the legend league review them and then give them a score out of 10 and today we're going to be reviewing this magnificent town hall 13 legend league and war base its performance in the legend league was amazing I don't expect you just to trust me though guys, that's why in just a moment I'm going to show you some awesome Legend League replays so you can see the base in action, see how it performs. If you are impressed and you do want to download and try this base yourself, it's easy, just head on over to the video description, click on the base layout link and KABOOM! Ah, yes! The base will appear on your device just like that. Guys as well, important news regarding the channel. We've just teamed up with some professional base builders over at Clash Champs, guys. They're going to be making some bases exclusively for the Samoose channel. Bases that are new and unique, guys. They will not be found anywhere else apart from on this channel. So do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss any of these exclusive bases. Also, guys, just a quick reminder that on this channel is something called Channel Memberships. It's where you can exclusively help support the channel by becoming a member. In return, I will instantly promote you to become a Sir Moose Army officer. And as an officer, you'll get certain perks. You'll get behind-the-scenes access to all things regarding the channel. You'll get early access to some base links and a custom pro-built base once a month. And I forgot, totally forgot, you'll get an awesome badge next to your name as well. Yes, I know. How awesome is that anyway let's go check out this base's legend league defense log then watch some awesome replays guys this base is superb let's go so here's my legend league defense log for the base guys i'm going to scroll through so you can check out all the defenses there you go this base performed remarkably well over a two-day period in the legend league we had 14 attacks against this base of those 14 attacks five were one star attacks and nine were two star attacks and a lot of the two star attacks were low percentage in fact the best attack against the base was only 84 percent yes guys people really struggled to take this base down so let's jump into some replays now kaboom through the clouds we go look at the base design guys not only is it beautiful all those compartments with the inferno towers in but the town hall's got all those nasty defenses around it so if you don't funnel correctly you're gonna struggle so anyway what do we got then this first attack it's a hog miner hybrid and we know this strategy guys don't we it can be really powerful but if you don't get the queen walk right then you can be in all sorts of trouble. So anyway, that lonely E-Dragon up there, just uh, funneling. It's funnel time, but the E-Dragon is down. So is it going to be a Queen Walk? I assume it is. What's going to happen? We just want to check over the base. Nothing's happening, guys. Nothing's happening. I'm just expecting... Oh, there we go. So there is the Queen. Rage Spell deployed. Healers on the Queen. She's taken out my Royal Champion. So this looks okay so far. There's a natural sort of channel for that Queen to work her way into the base. But are the defences going to overwhelm her? Because there are so many defences around there, guys. There's that nasty single target Inferno to the east and to the west. Oh, I'll stop using east and west. To the right, an Inferno Tower. And to the left, Scattershot. And now she is under fire. This is not good for the enemy Queen. Uh, Rage Spell down. She's doing okay. And the Ice Golem over there with a Stone Slammer. My Ice Golems have come out. Uh, that's, of course, the Ice Golem car wash over there. But they cannot wash the Stone Slammer. And the Hogs are in already. The Queen is being going to be single target inferno in just a second. And the thing is, guys, the, the last thing you want to see if you've got a Hog Miner hybrid is some Ice Golems. Because they just keep them frozen. And, yeah, it's not good. The Queen is down over there. The Town Hall's not activated. There's a few hogs being infernoed by that single target inferno. Skeleton trap. Guys, everything's going on. I don't know what's going on. It's too confusing. All I know is the Town Hall is still standing. Yes. Uh, some wall breakers there. Uh, another wall breaker in. And there's three wizards left. The King. And surely the Town Hall is safe. There are some m miners there making a late dash for the town hall and the town hall is actually getting quite close to being taken down uh, about a quarter of its health left uh, but don't worry i'm actually inside the town hall in this replay sometimes guys i go to my village and i go inside the town hall just help out so i'm there repairing inside the town hall right now and it's safe there we go that e-dragon is just trying to get to the town hall to take it out but no the hair dryer aka the uh, air sweeper is having none of it get back get away from my town hall thank you there we go guys there we go on to the, we've got four replays today on to the next one 
So what do we got here? Yes, this is, yeah, this is a good attack strategy. There's four healers, 12 yetis, four earthquakes. And there we go. So open up the base there. What's going to happen? So this is looking okay so far. Make a funnel with the yetis. Wall wrecker in. Because with bases like this, you need to really use a wall wrecker. Otherwise, if you use siege barracks, your troops might not go to the tunnel. So this is looking okay. Those yetis need to push inside the base. No, they're becoming a bit uh, distracted over there on the right. That's not good. A few yetis are made it into the center. My, There we go. It's Ice Golem Car Wash, guys. The Ice Golems are out to give that wrecker a good wash. Clean those alloys. Wax it. Get rid of all the dried bugs on the windscreen. And uh, while you're at it, break it apart, please, so it doesn't reach the tail. Oh, thank you. Yes. And it did not. So I don't know what happened to the inhabitants. Oh, there they are. The Queen is taking on a couple of yetis. They're not happy that their vehicle has been destroyed. Now the town hall is under attack. But there's so many nasty defences around there. It is safe. And now we've got... That's just one of the ice golems left. That's Gary the ice golem there on the bottom left. He is chasing down what's left of the army. And uh, he's been taken out by a wizard though. I can just see it. Just under that return home button. Uh, I think he's done a good job. He's going to take the... Go on, Gary. Sorry, I'm missing the action over there on the right. And Gary's done a great job. There he is. And now he's just strolling back. No urgency with Gary. Um, you know, you could say, Gary, there's a massive tarantula on your back. Run! And he'd just do that. He doesn't really take anything seriously. Those yetis have got inside that compartment. But now there is no chance. They're, f they're far away from the town hall. And that town hall is safe. And the yeti, watch the height. He gets on this jump. Whoa, guys! 20 foot in the air. Amazing. It's about the same height I can jump. Uh, yeah. So what do we got now? Some sneaky goblins. Yes, that's interesting. Mass hog attack. 42 hogs. Okay, the ice golems are out. What's happening here? So that wizard, obviously it's a trap. Guys, I've tried ringing my ice golems live in game. I said, guys, it's a trap. Stop. F they always fall for this, guys. I'm trying to tell him, stay up there. It's a trap. Don't go away from the town hall. But they don't listen. And here they go. They're just walking slowly down towards that queen. And the king there. So what's going to happen? This is interesting. So, siege barracks down there. The ice golems have come over to say hello to the queen. And they've been rudely poisoned. Of course, it's a trap. Not nice, guys. Not nice. Um, don't know what's happening there. People being frozen. It's not good. And uh, just keeping them there for a while. So they're pushing through there. So where are these mass hogs going to be deployed in the sneaky goblins? So there's a line of archers there. There we go. They're the mass hogs. But the thing is, there's so many defences around that town. All those hogs are going to disintegrate. And there we go. The scatter shot. The hogs hate the scatter shot. So more hogs being sent in. The town hall hasn't been activated, though, remember. So the hogs are just going to ride past it. They don't care. It's not a weapon yet, is it? It's it's just peaceful little town hall uh, until it hits 50%. And then, yeah, it's game over. So those hogs are having a tough time. Skeletons, they're being flung out of the arena by the spring traps. The scatter shot, there's not many of them left. Everybody's ignoring the town hall, which is good for our base. There's a royal champion there. That's my royal champion and the king. Guys, this base is fantastic. It really is a good base. Uh, unfortunately, those hog riders, like I said, they've been vaporized just like the Grand Warden. And there's 42 seconds left. A baby dragon has entered the arena over there on the right. The sneaky goblins are somewhere. There they are, sneaking away. It's very sneaky. You've got to watch out for those guys. The other, the other day I was in town. And uh, I felt something brush by me, turned around, didn't know what happened, and it was a sneaky goblin running past me. Uh, luckily, I was, you know, alert, otherwise I could have tripped over him. Very sneaky. Anyway, what's going on here? So 50% has been reached, but uh, that's it. Game over. Yeah, game over. On to, uh, is this our last replay? Just let me check, guys. Uh, yes, it is. It's our, So this was the best attack against the base. And like I said, the best attack against the base was only 84%. I think the layout just uh, is difficult, very difficult to funnel. So what do we got here? Eight yetis, five healers, max level heroes, four earthquakes, and one jump spell. So there we go. So a poison spell has been put down on the queen. We're, they're sending the yetis in, ice golems out. It's going to be a battle there. Everybody's been put in there, so... 
It's just carnage, guys. I don't know what is going on there. Those bowlers look massive there because they've been raged up. The town hall's been earthquakes. Everything's happening. But those troops are taking their time to take down the town hall. Are they going to do it? Yes, the king is taking the town hall down. But now they've got to push into the base. And there's all of those storages up there. Guys, remember, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so you don't miss any of these awesome, professionally built custom bases we're getting for the channel. And, of course, for all the other awesome content. Yeah. And the notification button. That's important. Because if you don't hit that, you won't know. You've missed one of my videos. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, guys. And guys, also, I'm losing the ability to speak here. Also, I put a secret code word in my videos. And then I ask you to go to the video comments. And I ask you to put that secret code word in the video comments. And if you do, guys, I'll reply to each and every one of you. I'm just thinking, there we go. Yes, today's secret code word is Sneaky Goblin. Yes. Very, very sneaky. So what's happened here? So it's a... It's sort of two mini bases, isn't it? You've got the base on the left of the town, or then that empty space in the centre and the other compartments on the right. So this is a difficult base to take down. I assume its weakness is maybe some sort of queen walk over on the right, clear out that side, and then send the hogs in and miners. Uh, but the thing is, you've got those single target inferno, so it's just really difficult. Yeah. Very nice base. What's going on there? Somebody is being infernoed. It's the Yeti. Now the Grand Warden just jumping over that wall, but he is going to be taken out in a moment. So yeah, this base performed really well. Lots of one stars, lots of low percentage two stars, nobody three starred it. You don't normally get that in the Legend League. And it's an interesting base design as well. I don't think I've seen it around too much. Um, one of my subscribers suggested it, Rich I think it was, thank you Rich again. So now we're going to head back, review the base, and give it a score out of 10. Whoa, there we go. So design-wise, I think it's a beautiful design. You've got the town hall, all the defences around it, the storage is protecting it on the left-hand side. Over on the right, you've got separate compartments with the single-target infernos. That makes it very awkward for a queen walk of any type. And on the left-hand side, it's the same as well, guys. So yeah, I really like this base. Its performance was magnificent. 14 attacks, 5 1-stars, 9 2-stars. Best attack was 84%. Yes! So out of 10. Today, guys, we're going to be giving this base 9 out of 10. Really, really nice base. Really difficult to take down. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. Remember to put the secret code word in the video comments. Remember to subscribe, guys, if you want some exclusive bases. The first one's going to be out in a few days for you guys. Awesome. And do consider joining the channel as an official member. All the info is in the video description. Guys, I'll catch you later. Sir Moose signing out. Here comes the end screen with some more videos. 3, 2, 1, boom. See you later, guys. Take care.